Wrong button. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so meat packs are kind of heavy. Eh, not bad, I guess. And they they take a little bit to craft. Uh, it's uh, like 20 metal, stuff like that, but that's... Eh. Oh, oh uh, wrong button. Uh, let's see. Put that in there. All right, so, uh, yeah. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Underdogs. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we are putting uh, saddles on our Hyenodons as we've got more that are coming out. Uh, but yeah, we've got this one right here. This guy right here, he's 100% imprint. He's the only one. Uh, he's uh, actually, I mean, he turned out all right. I mean, 1344 health, I mean, that could be a lot better. 331 melee damage. That's pretty good. I'm going to be getting this guy up to at least, I'm thinking, 2,500 health. Uh, with the uh, armor, it should be pretty good. And you can even pet him in the inventory. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put a uh, saddle on you, Lawless. And then I'm also going to put a saddle on you. But I need to figure out a good name for all these guys. This is the one I wasn't able to imprint. So I've just been using him for breeding purposes and stuff. He's enjoying it. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we've got another baby that's going to be popping out soon. I just got back from a metal run. We're still waiting on beer. Uh, one thing we do need to get going is a preserving bin. And I am running wicked low on stuff. But, let's see, fiber, stone, thatch wood. We should have all that stuff. Hey, let's go take a look. Let's go see, Batty. Right? Oh, oh, Batty! Dude, hey, I got a saddle for you um, that we can't be used as a saddle. But it's still going to be a cool saddle. Right? I know, dude. You're going to enjoy it. It's awesome. All right? Also, I need to get some dye up and going here soon. Um, that is definitely a thing because green hair. Come on. All right? So, uh, what was I taking a look at? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Preserving bin. That's right. Let's see. Fiber. Check. Stone. Check. Wood. Ha, ha, ha. Check. And... Batch. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> I had too much fun with this. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, pop that in there. Let's take the stone out of here. Let's get this up and going. All right. There we go. Take this. Um, hey, baddie. All right, you're the interior decorator here, dude. All right, what, where do you think this would go best? I agree, right here. Get this lined up. Bam, nailed it. Dude, Batty, you're a genius. All right, uh, I'm going to go uh, grab the stuff so where we can get stuff for um, other stuff. Uh, that makes sense, right? Uh, so we can get everything for the die up and going because that's absolutely a thing that we totally need to do because I am way behind on my die production. I'm just saying. I didn't mean to take out that tree, but yeah, suck it, tree. All right, we need to go, uh, but today... Our goal is we're going to go out on an adventure, go see if we can find some sort of a mate for uh, um, Gump here, or see if we can find a mate for Sally, or another high-level Hyenodon while we're waiting on our beer production. Let's go take a look at our beer production. Actually, you know what? We need berries first. Let's grab those. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on. We're going to need that, too. All right. Uh, let's see. We need black. We need... Yellow, we need blue. Another yellow, another blue. That should do it. Thanks, Gump. All right, pop over. Grab some of this. Grab all of that that we made. I think we're good. All right, let's get up here. Let's go make ourselves some dive while we go check on the situation of our beer. I'm pretty sure the beer... See, that this is the biggest problem. Is Calico Theriums, 
Beer's their kibble. And beer takes forever, so apparently we're still waiting on beer. Our first beer. Maybe I'll just leave the server running in the background, just where it uh, keeps going. I think that's probably the best thing I should do. Uh... Uno momento. Sorry, trees. You are a sacrifice for the die gods. All right. Thank you. And nailed it. First try. All right. I swear I didn't have to. Oh, well, give me that back. All right. Uh, let's see. Some of this. Some of this. Uh, some of this. And also with this spot up here. Um, I can, uh, I mean, eventually, I can just turn this into a crop farm up here as well. I mean, we have the flowing water. I can extend this over, and we can just build some crops up here if we ever wanted to. And also, I can jump over like this. It'd be like, ha, 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 yeah. See you down there, Priscilla. You too, Bowflex. Bowflex, what are you doing over here, dude? You're supposed to be over there. What's up, man? I swear, you guys. Right? Wilson, Spalding, include him. He just wants to be your buddy. Thanks. Well, let's see. I forgot stuff. This should be it. It's been a minute. Although I seem to have, I, I've got this recipe pretty well, yeah, memorized. See, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make some diet. I'll bring you guys back here in a minute. Oh no 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 no! Oh, okay. We need to go on a trip over to, uh, I believe it's Herbivore Island, where we left our scissors. That's not that big of a problem, right, Sally? Right? Oh, where's the pup? Oh, you had twins. Okay. 215, not bad. Okay, so you are female. You are female, and you guys are both almost starved. All right, so let's get you guys some food. Apparently, I got a little too wrapped up in um, the dye production. Hello. Here, eat some food. And where's the other? Oh, you're stuck. Okay. Eat some more food. Thanks. Right, so come on. All right, so you are female, and you are female. Okay, so we got two females. Both of them have the high melee. Ah, uh, that's good. All right, so now I'm going to be imprinting these guys, and then uh, I do believe we're going to take them, and the new Hyenodon pack, and Sally over to uh, uh, probably an adventure over to Herbivore Island just so where we can go die up our stuff. All right? Uh, yes, it is that important. All right, I will see you guys in a bit. Now here's something I don't think I've ever died up is a hyenid on meat pack. And I probably have, but with that. Scraps green. Not black. Oh, and not black. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. Huh. That's kooky. Alright, let's uh die up another one. See so. Go opposite and let's see. Alright, let's see which one we like better. See, so. That, that's the plain default one. Oh, I like them both. I think I like this one a little bit better. That one's good. All right, so just waiting on these guys. Uh, twelve minutes. So yeah, it's it, it's gonna be a minute. And this one right here is one that's definitely gonna be coming with us. Actually, you know what? We'll just 
have uh, you follow Sally. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take these guys out. Let me uh, do up your saddle a little bit. So maybe if we go, like... No, let's go the bags there. And that, and then just the rest green. That could look kind of good, too. Oh, yeah. Dig it! it. All right, all right. See you guys in a bit. Okay, these ones are easy. Just a, oh, a cuddle and a walk. Not too bad at all. Come on. And, of course, he's stuck. All right, and we're off. And I'm still trying to come up with a colorful name for all three of these guys. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we've already had the Tweedledee, Tweedledum uh, guys from the Raptors. Maybe I'll just repurpose that because, I mean, it would make absolute sense. Um, although I do need to get a pack of, I'm thinking, at least five or six uh, Hyenodons. Just because, and then also I need to constantly be worrying about upgrading our Hyenodons. Because I think, I think, um, I would like to actually see if we could at least do a Gamma Broodmother with Hyenodons. I think that could be wicked, wicked cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that could be fun. Eat that or do Megapithecus. With uh, the Hyenodons. I think that could be cool, too. Oh, man. Uh, we'd have to fight uh, the Megapithecus in a controlled spot because the first time he threw a rock, uh, they would all go over the edge. So, that would be a thing we'd have to keep an eye on. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right, all right. All right, but uh, we're heading out on adventure. I'm going to be keeping my eye out for um, a few things. Um, namely, uh, iguanodons along the shore. Also, uh, if I see any hyenodons, we're definitely going to be taking a look at those. Also, uh, I don't think we're going to be going close to any place that has saber tooths, but I'm still going to be keeping a look for them. I mean, you never know where a saber tooth could be hiding. It could be hiding inside that Pelagornis right there. You just never know. I mean, that, that's definitely a thing that could be happening. It's really not, but no. Uh, but yeah, I mean, who knows? I mean, it could, there could be one in that Bronto. I don't know. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to stop off over here at this island. Once we reach this island, I think we're going to leave the raft here. And that way there I've got beds strategically located. And then we're going to take the uh, Sabertooth pack over land. Yeah, I think that could be good. That way there we can level up the Hyenodon pack. We can see just how well they do. We can avoid this Alpha Carno that's been over here forever and a day. And then we can also get this blue drop. That was worth it, really. All right, come on, everybody. Yeah. Let's go see just how effective this Hyenodon pack pack can be now, granted it's a small pack come on guys you guys need to be faster than that I'm just saying all right also uh yeah we definitely need to be how is the saber tooth faster than you hmm All right, come on, guys. All right, we need to find some sort of dino that is the same speed or... Get him. Wow, that was fast. Oh, wow, okay. No, no, no. Get him. Thank you. All right, let's go over this way. Let's go see. These guys are very, very powerful. Okay, let's see just how fast it, uh, they take out uh, Diplodocus. Uh, 
There you go. They do appear to be slightly buggy. Yeah, the pushback thing is a bit weird. Okay, so there's a raptor. All right, let's give him a hand. Oh, you want a piece of me, raptor? Really? And bugs. Come on, go get that guy. All right, well, nipping at his heels is actually a lot better than uh, going face on. But then again, if you hit him in the face, there's gonna be whoa. Okay, well, coming at him from the rear, you guys took him. To you kind of melted him. All right. So that's a thing. If you're gonna take out a Diplodocus, hit him from the rear. Hey, Perry, how you doing, man? I have got a task for you, Perry. Just been chilling out here, doing your thing. Come on. All right. Bobs, you've been great. We're going to keep you here. Uh, whatever you guys are doing here on the beach, just treat it as a little beach resort. It's fine. All right? All right. I'm pretty sure this should do much better. Oh yeah, turn around and they're right there. Okay, so Sabertooth for the solo excursion. Pretty good. Parasaurs? A bit better for the head of the pack. Yeah, Parasaurs a bit better for the head of the pack. I heard it. No, no, no. Yeah, get him. Suck it, Pego. You got what you deserve, man. All right, come on, Bronto. Step aside, dude. Coming through. I heard another Pego. Really? Thank you. All right, let's get over here. Let's go see if we can find something else along the way. Right, this is going to be a long trip over. Hopefully we can find something cool. Grab some XP buffs while I'm here. Be one over here as well. Run it. Here we are. Nailed it. Thank you. But yeah, one thing I've noticed is that uh, whenever you're on... Whenever you're on the leader of your pack, you want the uh, pack leader to be uh, either less, less fast as the rest of your pack or the same speed but i'm um, honestly i would prefer to have the pack to be slightly faster than the lead dino that way there um if there's ever any problems they can catch back up because if uh the lead dino is the fastest you're always gonna lose them yeah maybe an iguanodon would be good um i i need to test 
mean, I'll, I'm gonna be uh, over here looking, see, um, I'll be looking specifically, see if we can find an Iguanodon along the way. Because we're gonna be going into some pretty uh, Iguanodon infested areas. So I'm hoping that it will, uh, we'll be able to find something cool. Should be good. You guys here? Yeah. And yeah, riding a parasaur though, and an un unimprinted un parasaur, they have no problem keeping up. They are so much faster than the Parasaur, so it's great. So every time I turn around, there's just bam, they're there. You don't have to wait for them to catch up before you go smacking things in the face. And yeah. Also, I'm gonna be uh, checking out these beavers here and then clearing them out on the way through. Uh, probably clearing out a bunch of stuff around here just where we can see um, if there's if we can get some good uh, beavers to come back um, on our uh, return trip. Although, what's weird is the Parasaur kind of... As the Parasaur's running, don't you hear it? It just goes... Romp, romp, romp. Come on, hyenas. See, this is the one of the downsides with hyenas. They don't swim very fast at all. Yeah. I like hyenas. But they don't swim fast. Oh. Sorry! You're here in the beaver spawn. Sorry, Dodo. I'm sorry. The Romph. 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 Yeah. All the time. All right, let's go out this way. A fish. There's piranha. All right, I'm going to clear out all this. Oh, hey, there's beaver dams. Oh! Hey, look, we've got beavers! Come on, hyenas. It's just a piranha. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry, they nip at me as well. They do a bit, little bit more damage to me, but it's fine. Just not gonna, huh? All right. All right. So three beaver dams. This is a huge find. Oh, wrong button. What level are you? Forty-five. No, you're going down. Get him. Maybe actually a beaver would be the best. Oh, it's a monkey. Get that guy. Level 15 monkey. I, yeah, I saw the tapajar up there. All right, let's see what. That's what I wanted you to eat. All right, so they smacked the beaver dam, although I'm not seeing. Is that the only beaver? That's weird. Okay. We're gonna have to clear out all these fish. All these fish right here are beaver um, spawn holders as well. So I'm going to do that really quick, and then we're going to head over and see if we can go find some iguanodon over that way. All right, and we get a free green drop. All right, and we got a bunch of trash. 
I heard that, Perry. You burped right in my ear, dude. Not nearly as cool as you think it is, man. All right, so far, no luck on the uh, Iguanodons, but I'm still going to be looking. I may have spoken too soon. You go. Fighting. Come here, Sally. Oh. There was an iguanodon up in here. Is it dead? Pick the fight with a calico theorem, is that what happened? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got to get it separated from that calico theorem. It shouldn't be too hard. Just go like this. Hey, poop cow. Hey, poop, 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 poop. Come on. Hey, yo, poop cow. Come here. We're gonna be eating ya. Thank you. Poop cows are tanky, though. I'm thinking poop cow with, uh, I need on pack would be wicked good. Do I have? Oh, I don't have any. Bolas. We need bullets. I also heard a foo. So we've got 60. Where is that food? <laughs> Level 60 foo. Let's see if we can get this guy real quick. So far, it's turning out to be a pretty good adventure. Not bad. Uh... All right, let's get this guy knocked out. Or this girl knocked out. And what do you think? Do you think she looks like a Jenny? I'm pretty sure she does. Come on. Okay, at least I didn't hit it. <laughs> All right, now let's uh, make a mes uh, Mesopithecus and let's go tame this guy. Dang, this is a good spot. There we go. And I don't mind having the um, Iguanodon starve out a little bit. You keep an eye, make sure there's no... Put you up here, so if there is any dillos that come, you'll be able to sense them. There we go. Oh, we just need wood. Awesome. 
So we'll be able to test out the Iguanodon. Also, when we get back, we'll be able to breed Iguanodons as well. Which is wicked cool. Although, I, 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 I need to get into... I need to uh, not count my chickens, uh, you know, before they hatch. Kind of thing right now. But... I'm really excited. <laughs> Having a, a bread. What is that? All right, so we're getting an army of foos. Come here. Thank you. You know, I have to say, having a parry with me while I'm taming stuff, it's pretty good i think I mean since we're bringing this parry over to herbivore island we'll take a look I mean because this parry right here this is the male I mean, we could breed a female i mean if it, the parry over there i'm not sure if it's female if it is female i'd breed it to see uh uh you know honestly i'm i'm kind of enjoying this just having a parry with me with a pack of Hyenodons and Sally. I mean, honestly, I don't even think Sally... I need to have Sally. I think Sally's more a uh, solo uh, journey kind of thing. But... Just having Perry with me. So where I know whenever anything bad is around... This... It, it kind of... Wrong button. Oh, it's a true dog. Hit him, guys. All right, now where are the rest of the true dogs that come out of the woodwork? And there it is. <laughs> Where's the others? Get them, foo! <laughs> As the poop goes flying. All right. Uh, yeah. You know what? Get the turtle too. It's level five. Okay. I w I was gonna I was second guessing myself. There we go. All right, and there she goes. I think she'll make a great Jenny. I have got a gump that you need to meet. Oh, wow. Hey, not too bad. Not amazing stats, but then again, you know, I wasn't expecting too big of amazing stats. All right, and you are definitely faster than the Parasaur. And, oh, you're on. Well, you know what? I like this. There we go. Let's go like this. Because the Iguandon is definitely faster than the Parasaur, but the Parasaur is on... Oh. On turret mode. Let's see. Go like this. I want to see. Come on. All right, let's get up like this. Because if we go down like this, then we are definitely faster. And this is how I'm judging. Yeah, because we're pulling away from the pack. All right, so if we go like this... catch up you don't want to attack my parry like this they have no problem keeping up that's not bad all right I'm going to do the rest of this trek on the Iguanodon just to see which one I prefer. Honestly, right now, I'm... 
Strange enough, I'm leaning more towards the parry as the pack leader. Just because. I mean, the fact that we can run up like this is pretty dang cool. But we have even like this, we still have to wait for the parry to catch up. Yeah, even like this, we're pulling away from the parry, which is not good. But I'm thinking that... I don't know, it's... The uses of the Iguanodon are really good. Uh, an Iguanodon with a pack of Sabertooths may be really, really good. A parry with a pack of Hyenodons would be insane. Just a pack of, say, six Hyenodons, where you have the plus six. That would be cool. And now comes the sick and twisted part where I swim across this on a parry. <laughs> you guys ready for this? <laughs> it's gonna happen. All right, so all of them are still in here just chilling. And we're swimming across this on a parasaur. And that's a shark. Now let's go over like this. I mean, it could be worse, right? I mean, there could be a bunch of Snyderi out here, right? Alright, the sharks uh, decided it uh, likes our scent. No, go away, shark. Shark, go away. Go away. Nobody likes you. Okay, so... He's catching up slowly. It feels like a weird race. And I'm going to hit that. All right, Mr. Shark. Go away. Okay, so... He's just barely fast. Oh, whew. Okay, so he's just barely faster than us. Except for it's Mr. ADHD Shark that uh, caught wind of a squirrel along the way. Not judging, man. I'm just saying I'm using it to my advantage. What level is this shark, anyway? I mean, if he's a high level, we could... Oh, hello! Right behind me. Right behind me. Hey, guys! Been a minute since I've been here. Oh, the crops are still doing good. Level 40 Megalodon. Yeah. Suck it, dude. <laughs> He's just sitting there. I know where you live. I'll come back and get you in. So here in just a minute. All right, so this parry's only level 11. So while we're here, we could definitely see if we could find a higher level. I mean, it is female, but I'm not sure I want to. Hey, Foo. That's right. I should have named this one Foo 3. All right, so are the scissors here? Yes. Nailed it. Bam. There we go. All right. We're looking sharp now. Green all over. All right. So, uh, yeah. Wow. We found an iguanodon. We found a new... Uh, I'm going to leave that here. An iguanodon. We found a uh, new foo. And then also, I mean, granted, I found out something new about the Parasaur that I really, really like. Um, that uh, we may need, because there's tons of Parasaurs here on Herbivore Islands. So we may have to see if we can tame a female one and then breed it with this lucky parry right here. And then, uh, yeah. Wow. I'm kind of looking forward to that. All right. So, hey, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flicker Foo. And take it easy, everybody.